Oyasaki. I'm a, a painter. Mostly water-based materials, and pigments, and I try to kind of do the fine line between painting and drawing. And these are all on linen, so these pieces are, are all around like organic shapes and things. So my idea is when I'm painting is to kind of capture the viewer and try to draw them in to a shape, something that is familiar, and then hope that that gives it time for them to really move around the painting and appreciate the mixed media, the strokes, the lines, um, the drippings, the kind of ghost imagery within that. So these are very floral based, um, but within it, within it, I, um, it's just playing with the actual materials itself. It's more about hopefully capturing the viewer to be able to take some time and breathe around a painting that would come off as abstract, but give them the chance to find a comfort zone and kind of move around and find something that makes them breathe or move them at some, on some level. There's pieces in it that are probably more free and then there's pieces in it that are controlled so I guess it's kind of playing with that balance. Um, where I go in and I rework a lot of the surface, a lot of it's based on, some of it's based on chance uh, and just knowing how the different mediums interact. So in this piece you have from raw pigments to watercolors to acrylics to uh, even spray paint, where things like this that are a chain and different pieces that command its own attention. I used um, the gold to kind of bring a fun element into that, this like luxury around these really vibrant, uh, almost violent colors, but then to try to soothe them with like the blues and the turquoise. I work in a really vibrant palette, so uh, I guess nature is an, an inspiration. Um, and I just really like to, I really like to see how far I can push the brightest palette without it being kind of too obtrusive. I think each piece has its own, its own life, so sometimes I can work through a couple of nights and complete, complete, complete a piece, um, but sometimes you need to revisit and revisit and you'll kind of keep looking and so there'll be something that just isn't right and then one day you decide um, ah, this is exactly what it needs to be, and you kind of move within that space and try to make it work again. So it really just depends on, on the piece. I think the piece talks to you and says when it's done. I would say, if you're looking at hours, um, I would say the minimum a piece probably takes is 12 hours, and the most it could take would be a couple of months. Keep working, keep pushing yourself, hang your own work, force yourself to look at it, even if you hate it. Um, save the stuff that you hate because you'll pull it back and you'll realize it's not so bad and um, just keep with it and the opportunities are endless and if you stay true to your passion you'll be awesome.